All right, guys. So a friend of mine sent me some very, very, very intriguing data that you guys would probably be interested in in regards to uh, the arguments against uh, stimulus checks. And guys, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because there are ways that the right can argue against democratic economic policy or, you know, policy like, you know, stimulus checks that doesn't have to do with making really silly claims like, oh, stimulus checks are going to cause people to quit their jobs and to do drugs, right? Like that's the type of stuff that some people are putting out there in regards to an argument against stimulus checks. That's not a legitimate argument, but there are legitimate arguments that are actually based in facts and reality that the right can use. So if you want to argue against stimulus checks, this is probably a good video for you, <laughs> right? Um, and this data basically supports the Republican argument for more targeting. And I think this is fascinating stuff because a lot of people have supported the uh joe biden fourteen hundred dollar stimulus package right and i've generally have been supportive of more stimulus however i'm not one of those people who who doesn't pay attention to the data and whose opinions doesn't sway with the data now economists have been sounding the bell on this for a little bit right they basically been saying that the stimulus checks are not efficient because people that are high income earners are not actually spending their money which defeats the whole purpose of the stimulus checks in the first place right P people are supposed to spend the money to stimulate the economy right and that is supposed to help create more jobs etc right and again economists have been sounding the alarm on this right um and and that's part of the reason why i think that people have to be careful when they try to cite uh, public support for a policy as a reason that it's a good policy just because people support it doesn't mean that it's actually a good policy okay that, that's what people have to understand now um you know i'm not doing this video as like a bashing against stimulus checks i'm still not completely against them i just think that when we actually needed them the most uh our government failed us right when we actually needed it i mean they basically let the economy tank right and let people lose their jobs and didn't do anything for eight to nine months and now once the economy kind of recovered on its own as states started to reopen as we began to adapt to life now it's a little bit too late and adding more stimulus to the economy during a time like this in which we're basically about to open back up and that you know the economy is recovering and it's there's strong growth projections really um i think is a little bit reckless and i think it really supports the republican argument for this okay so let's take a look at the data uh this is from opportunity insights uh this is not a right-wing think tank it's not a left-wing think tank okay this is supposed to be a uh non-profit um non-partisan basically research center out of harvard right so this is a harvard study right this is a harvard economic uh tracker right so it ain't bias right so as you can see here the first graph is the daily consumer spending on debt and credit cards pre and post 600 dollars stimulus this information you're looking at right here basically just examines the effect of the second stimulus so if you look here as you can see this is the low income group right so if you make less than forty six thousand, as you can see spending increased by 7.9 percent in january after these checks were issued right however if you make above 78,000, spending only increased 0.2 percent which means that people who are getting these checks right that make more than seventy-eight thousand dollars, are just not spending it right they're just they're saving it they're probably investing in the market they're not actually doing what they're supposed to be doing with it right so the summary here, it says that over the first month after stimulus payments were received, our estimates imply that households with incomes above 78000 will only spend 
uh, $45 of the $600 payments they receive. This is much less than the effect of the April stimulus payments on the spending of these higher income households, which arrived at the time when unemployment was surging. Since then, these households have largely returned to work and have even accrued additional savings. Okay, that is fascinating. Basically, what they're saying is, is that this was needed back in March when unemployment was high, right? However, now that these uh, high income workers have returned back to work, they don't really need this anymore. And we're seeing the spending shift with this, right? This is what we're seeing in the data. So if you look here, you can see the total uh, spending effect of the first and second stimulus pay payments by household income group. The green is the CARES Act and the, um, I guess that's orange, is the second stimulus package, the $600. As you can see with the CARES Act, right, for all income groups, spending was significantly more, right, the total monthly spending effect than it was under the second stimulus, right? And as you can see here, the high income group only spent on average $45 of that $600 stimulus versus $126 that the income group below 46K spent, okay? That's fascinating. So in summary, what you're looking at here, the data suggests that uh, as your income goes up, you are less likely to spend your stimulus, right? And we're seeing that we're seeing this effect specifically with the second stimulus check, right? The six hundred dollars. Now, with the first stimulus check, the thousand dollars, right? You can see as you earn more money, they actually spent more of it, and that's probably because um, high income earners who lost their jobs probably needed to spend more of their money to make up for the loss of income, which would result in higher net spending, right? But with that second stimulus check, the $600, we're seeing the reverse, right? We're seeing that as you make more, that you're more likely to spend less of your stimulus, okay? And that strongly supports the Republican argument for more targeting, right? So the conclusion here, Based on these results, we estimate that the households earning more than 78K will spend uh, only $105 of the $1,400 stimulus checks they receive, implying that the $200 billion in additional government expenditures will lead to only $15 billion of additional spending. Targeting the next round stimulus payments towards lower income households would save substantial resources that could be used to support other programs with minimum impact on economic activity. Wow. Basically, what they're saying is that that $200 billion that we spent on stimulus is literally a waste of money if the purpose is to stimulate the economy. And I personally believe it, right? Because personally, I am going to take my $1,400 stimulus check and I'm going to contribute to my Roth IRA, okay? I'm going to put my money in my Roth and I'm going to save it for retirement because I don't need the money, okay? So I, I think from a personal standpoint, that, you know, this data, right? I 100% believe it, right? Not that I'm a, a super high income earner or anything like that. I'm just saying, I'm going to save and invest, right? Ain't it, ain't it crazy how our government just wastefully spends, right? But the thing is, guys, is that the politics of it is not necessarily aligned with the data. And that's why I be trying to tell you guys, when these politicians talk and they speak about this stuff, they're speaking in order to get votes. They're not speaking from a standpoint of just going with the data, going with the facts, right? The Democrats will try to paint the picture that everybody should, you know, get a stimulus check, that that's the best thing for the economy, but that's not showing up in the data. But, you know, I do understand, you know, those who are making high income, I do understand why they would be mad or upset if they don't get a stimulus check. But those that are lower income, that's not contributing as much to the system, are basically getting the money. I 100% I understand that argument. And I understand why people would be mad about that. That's why this is not a black and white issue. This is an issue that's complicated politically, right? It's hard to go out there and say, listen, guys, the money should go towards low income people because they've been impacted the most. We shouldn't just be sending checks out to everybody. 
right? Which essentially is the Republican argument. But that is a very hard argument to sell. And you know the Democrats have painted the Republicans as not supporting stimulus, right? They don't they're not they don't want to get help to American people. And it's like, no, that's not necessarily true. The Republicans just wanted to be more target because they know we don't need to spend this much money. At this point, we're just spending money to be spending money. And this is what shows up in the data. And if you want to take a look here at this chart, right, uh, this shows the change in, uh, in employment by income group, right? At the beginning of last year, you can see as the pandemic started to set in that the employment level for all income groups started to drop, right? And as we start to go on and it started to recover, everybody else recovered, right? High income, middle age, middle uh, wage recovered, but low income, low wage did not, right? They're still down 27% from the beginning of last year, which implies that these stimulus checks that we're sending to high wage earners are not being spent in the economy, which probably could be contributing to low wage workers still having trouble finding employment, right? That could be it. You know, it, it all could, also can be said that maybe low wage workers who were laid off, maybe they're not trying to find employment because of these uh, unemployment checks that they're getting. Right. Which they would lose if they actually tried to get a job. Right. And the government paying more money for people to be unemployed than to actually work definitely is going to incentivize people not to work for as long as they can. So I just wanted to talk about those insights because I, I just find that to be fascinating um and i think it, it does support the republican argument and it, it just goes to show that the republicans were right on this issue right when it came to the stimulus checks at least for right now because what economists are worried about and what we think is going to happen is that with the economy opening back up a lot of these stimulus checks will start to be spent a lot of stimulus money will be spent right Right now, with the economy still being kind of closed, but still open up, you know, a lot of, of the money that would be spent on certain things like tourism, entertainment, things that we, we use expendable income on, people just not spending it on because they're not opened up. But once you open up those uh, things, maybe people will start to use their stimulus checks, right? Maybe it will stimulate economic activity, even among uh, those in the high income group right so that remains to be seen the data is incomplete just keep that in mind but the early data suggests that the republicans are right on this issue however we will see when the economy opens up and if the stimulus checks that were sent out get spent one and two if they get spent will it overheat the economy and will uh low-wage workers get their jobs back right so there's still questions out there. However, this data data was absolutely fascinating, and I just want to share it with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.